Hey team, Rob here, welcome to the video. Today, new trail at Christchurch Adventure Park. Actually, two new trails, if you want to be real precise. Up and out into Chalky Milk. Up and out starts in a second, just off Quai Boy at the top of that pinch climb. It weaves along under Quai Boy, then turns into Chalky Milk. Both single blacks, so let's get in there. Pretty tight squirrel catcher, and it's real narrow and pretty loose. So if it's your first lap, just need to take your time. Everything on this trail, all the way along, is rollable, but there are plenty of awesome features, including gap jumps, side hits, rock hips, if you're a, a bit more advanced and spicy. They are both a single black, so yeah, nothing too hard. But lots of stuff just to watch out for, especially when you get along, along to Chalky Milk, there's a heap of wee gap jumps you can send if you're going fast enough and are uh, capable enough. Won't be doing that in this lap, I'm just going to be cruising. Got this cool, cool rock roll. So I've done a couple of laps along here before filming. Just get warmed up, so I know where I'm going. <laughs> but yeah. So right, this is the end of up and out, where you can carry up the hill to get back onto Kaua Boy. We go left down here onto Chalky Milk. A little bit of a hill to crank up before dropping back down. Probably best to gap off that, and then you've got speed. Because I saw these little doubles all the way along here which are all rollable but you do need to be going quite slow to actually be able to pump through them otherwise you're going to get bucked but yeah you don't have to jump anything so that's really good It's quite steep downhill. Corner there's not as bad. But you don't want to be careful because you definitely don't want to fall off anywhere down here. Get out of that rut on there. Into the berm. Again, this is really the start of all jumps. But if you're just cruising, just pump through more, no problems. There's a video on the Caps YouTube where a couple of shredders absolutely panning everything, making it look super easy, making me wish I could ride like that. <laughs> it's all good. We all ride at our own level. Again, just pumping through that. through there, almost out to the end, now if you do go down Chalky Milk, you end up a oh, third of the way down Pork and Puha, so you're only way out, this is Pork and Puha here, so we just carry on down the rest, so stay tuned for a bonus Pork and Puha lap. Nice drop there. Never done a full stop and look on Pork and Pooh, huh? Should probably do that one day. It's another nice single black with the optional gap jumps 
all along the trail, but has good ride rounds. Probably one of the easier single blacks here at the Bike and Hike. So it's a good introduction to black trails. It's not super rough or super steep, but Gap jump there, almost there. All the jumps and gaps are easily identifiable by the awesome signs. Take the inside there at the walking track crossing. Righto team, that has and that's the end of Pork and Poo. Huh? Well there we go. Up and out into chalky milk into pork and poo -har. All right, team, that has been up and out into chalky milk into pork and poo -har. All nice single blacks, all very rideable. Definitely, all the trails have spicy features you can uh, jump and gap and if you wanted to, but also all very rideable rollover, just control your speed. So it's a pretty cool lap, you don't have to do much choir boy to get onto up and out, and then you just single track all the way back to the chairlift. Is that there? It's very cool, it's a good lap. Definitely one you should give a go. Just take your time on that first lap, remember pre-ride, re-ride, free ride, as they say here at the cap. So, like normal, like if you've liked, subscribe, see you see the next one. Till next time team, ride on.